Communities are now under threat from one of the world's oldest pathogens, the bacterium that causes tuberculosis, or TB. Like COVID-19, tuberculosis can be passed through the air. Every day around the world, at least 4,000 people die of TB. That's 1.5 million people each year. It's the world's most deadly infectious killer and one that could evolve to have catastrophic consequences for the globe. In 1950, doctors began using a cocktail of antibiotics to kill the TB bacterium. Initially, it was a successful strategy. You see the disease disappear from the radar, more or less in Canada, in the United States, in most of Europe, in Australia, in New Zealand, and you see it present in poorer countries. And because it's not on the radar of richer countries, you don't see it being a priority. But in the late 80s, TB re-emerged in one of the wealthiest and most densely populated cities in the world. People were shocked that there was a TB epidemic in New York City. And it starts, they notice an uptick in TB in children, and it grows. People said, oh, yeah, yeah, it'll fizzle away. And it didn't. It took hold. And then it went into the prison system. And then it killed a prison guard. And that got on the front page of the newspapers. Worse news was yet to come. Doctors discovered that the prison guard had died from a particularly lethal strain of tuberculosis, known as multi-drug-resistant TB, or MDR-TB. This disease is much harder to cure because it can't be treated with standard TB antibiotics. MDR-TB causes a form of chronic pneumonia, often destroying lung tissue and producing cavities in the lungs, and also more serious and sudden events such as bleeding from the lungs. It's the mega bug of the superbugs, and there's a good reason for that. We think of it as a disease that affects the lungs, but it can also go into the spine, the spleen, even the brain. TB is an incredibly complex bacterium. Armed with a cache of weapons, it acts as a highly trained killer within our bodies. Its thick, waxy outer layer is like armor that shields the bacterium from antibiotics. TB can also hijack our immune system, tricking it into damaging our own lung tissue. We then become TB spreading machines, helping the bacterium to find new hosts by coughing and spreading aerosols to others. If you can say that a bacterium is intelligent, it's a very intelligent bacterium. 